everyone, my name is Elfa. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building in the world of Windenburg. I feel like it's been a very very long time since the last time I built in Windenburg, especially on this lot because I used to obsess with this lot so much. I mean it's a 20 by 20 lot and it's like in the middle of nowhere on the um island part of Winnenberg and the lighting is just gorgeous and also the surrounding area is just very pretty so I used to love to build on this lot so very much but I don't know I think it's been I don't know many many months since the last time I built on this lot because I decided to work on my save file and um, I built a lot of bigger builds lately I mean I used to exclusively build tiny builds because I didn't know how to fill up bigger lots but nowadays I feel like I'm more towards like medium to bigger size lots um, don't understand why but sometimes it happens like that and since I had missed building on this lot I decided just to go back to this lot and work on a I'm not sure what type of style of this build is I'm thinking of Scandinavian but kind of rustic but has a little bit of barn style I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, I'm not an architect. I'm not an interior designer, but I um, built this because I saw an image on Pinterest as always. It's like a, I don't know, like a patio um, shot, I would say. I will put it on the screen because I believe I downloaded it um, and I saved it on my folder. So um, I think it's supposed to be like a patio shot or backyard shot or I don't know. Basically not like the whole part of the house, but I was so inspired by that and I built this way Long time ago. Um, I will post this around the third week I would say the third week of or second week middle of second week of May, but I built this on late April, so it's been a while and um by the time I built this, I think um, this is the first ever build I built with the uh, like the free SDX drop with the cactus plant thingy that um, they have two swatches that will glow at night. I think I don't remember the name of that cactus plant, um, but I believe you know what I mean. And um, this house is supposed to be for a rental, but. Again, I don't understand why, but every single time I try to um, upload a rental build onto the gallery, it will tag as a residential. I don't understand why, but yes, I play tested this as a residential, but when I was about to uploading this to the gallery, I changed it into the rental lot type. But it marks as a residential, so um, it will work both as residential and a rental so if you would like to live on this um, build you totally could because I believe we have all the necessities here we have um, a kitchen we have a living room we have a dining room we have a powder room or half bath we also have like a, a bedroom and a full bathroom upstairs so um, this is the kitchen the kitchen is a very long shaped kitchen but I think I love this kitchen very much and all the color scheme on this belt will be um, this creamy beige color um, I was so afraid that it will look kind of pale but somehow it doesn't I mean yes it looks um, quote unquote old but it doesn't look that old and I just love this color so much so I decided just to um, like create the whole color palette based on this color and it might look a bit pale but I really love this build so much and um, on the downstairs we have a kitchen we have a half bath um, a living and a dining but I have to mention that the upstairs bathroom do not have a shower and that's because um, the window placement I mean I would like to have like a huge window so you can see how beautiful this island is and um, also if I put a shower it won't work and I don't want like a like an open shower from either Discovery University or Snowy Escape because I don't know I feel like this type of build 
has like a close of shower like the um, shower box so I didn't put any shower there but if you'd like to you totally can um, put a shower on the um, bathroom downstairs it's not like a full bathroom it's more like a powder room with a with a sink and a toilet but you totally can swap the sink and put like a shower there and use the kitchen um, sink instead it's totally fine. I mean, you have to walk past through the kitchen to get access to the powder room anyway. So um, that's that. And um, I think the main feature of this house is the front and the side yard and maybe the backyard a bit. I mean, this is such a small lot, but I feel like I put everything we have on this lot in a good use. I mean, um, being a 20 by 20 lot, you can't have much outdoor space, I would say. And I'm so happy that we have quite a decent sized um, side yard and also a huge front yard. Not so much in the backyard, it's quite tiny. I think it, we have like five or six tiles wide left, I would say. But I think it's quite nice to have something like this in Winnenberg. But anyway, we have finished mostly with the downstairs area and we'll be moving on to the upstairs area in just a moment. But I have to mention this that I used the creamy beige swatch of the railing. It's a cats and dogs one, I believe. But since I did put two um, industrial love kit hanging lamps, I mean it's technically six but it's two sets so I'll count it as two. Um, the railing on the upstairs look a bit yellowish than it should so um, I am pretty sure it's because the lighting issue I mean we've had that issue for forever I would say so that's not surprising at all and um, this is the only bedroom we have it's kind of a loft area even though it's not like loft but it looks like a loft area and um, we have two giant windows on the front of the house and we have like an office nook and also the bathroom is actually on the front part of the house but um i will swap those like full wall height window to the one from snow escape it's not like full wall but it's more like i don't know three quarter wall height i would say because i do not like when I see the bathtub from the outside, it just doesn't make sense for me. So I swapped that and um, I did play test everything. It works just fine. And also I have to mention that um, I did put a fireplace downstairs, but I didn't put any fireplace upstairs. And, and I put two chimneys on this build. So if you have fireplace, um, the chimneys will have smoke and it depends on how many fireplaces you have and since we only have one and I did put two so there will be only one chimney that will smoke up if that makes sense um, hopefully you can understand that I didn't realize that up until I um, edit this video so yeah that's that and um, this is the bathroom and the office nook area as I mentioned it took me quite a while to figure out the um, window placement on this front facade because of the bathroom and I don't want people to see your bathroom when they I don't know like visit your house I mean it's not such a huge issue in the sims but in real life it is so I decided just to remove the windows and swap with the one from snowy escape over here and as you can tell that the um the upstairs bathroom doesn't have a shower as I mentioned but it's all functional I play tested everything it works just fine that's that and we have a tiny balcony here um, I decided just to put like a sitting area outside because it looks cool and I think if you um, like have a tea or something here while watching the surrounding area would be really really good and um, as you can tell that the backyard is just very very tiny I am truly sorry because this is a 20 by 15 or 20 by 50 I'm sorry not a 20 by 30 if we work on 20 by 30 I I think I could put I don't know like a pawn or something on the back but since this is a smaller lot we don't have that but we do have a pool which is very exciting so we have a pool and a top so the top is from perfect patio I believe um, 
even though I would like to use the one from base game, I don't like the fact that it has this roofing part, like the covered area. I don't want that. So I decided just to use the one from um, Rec Patio. I think it looks beautiful. And also, I try to kind of like uh, make some fake fans, I would say, by using some debug uh, rocks. So I believe on the catalog, those rocks um, that I put just by the pool were colorful like pink, blue, and green, I would say. I could be wrong though, but I barely use these rocks because it looks awful on the catalog, but when you place it, it looks amazing. So I decided just to use that and I believe all the landscaping that I put were from Get Together and not get farming cottage living i am so sorry oh my god there are a lot of get packs um but cottage living and get together so those are the um landscaping that i use on this build and i believe i kind of limit the packs usage but i think i failed miserably so i still use a ton of packs um but not that many so you can see um, the packs that I use on the description box. I have everything list on the description box below, but um, you have to see in game on the gallery what items did I use from each pack. So um, that's that. And on the back, we have a woohoo bush, we have a chest table, we have an easel, which is very exciting because I would like to have a lot of like outdoor activities on this build. Not just outdoor activity objects, but something that useful, I would say. So I did put a lot of things on the back or mainly on the um, outside area. Um, so that's that. And I think that's it. We just have to finishing up the landscaping with the terrain paints and I don't know, some more plants maybe. Um, and after that, we will be heading on to the screenshots. So if you would like to download this build, this is already available on the gallery. My ID is Elfadiera or you can simply download by clicking the download link on the description box below. You'll be directed to my coffee website. It'll have two different links, the gallery download link and the um, tray files link from Simflusher if you prefer that way. So yeah, I think that's it. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you do, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to, you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. So yeah, I'm going to go right now. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting me. I hope you have the very best day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.